deserved. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor and privilege of introducing our other Young Leader of the Year, Lauren Zuma. Lauren Zuma is a true civic-minded individual who has embraced her various positions in government and who is consistently working on um, constituent issues. Lauren began her political career as an aide to state Senator Craig Johnson in her current role as supervisor's uh, resident advocate in the town of Hempstead. Lauren works to assist residents with issues involving building, highway, and code enforcement in those uh, respective departments. Lauren is currently the president of the Nassau County Young Democrats. Shout out to Nassau. Uh, and is currently the longest serving chapter president in our organization's history. Wow, what a feat. Lauren is currently the co-lead for the 2020 New York for Biden Harris Young Professionals Committee, who we partnered with today. So a lot of you are coming here because of our partnership with that, with that group, um, partially thanks to Lauren. So the committee uh, who we partner with today is working on just getting young professionals and millennials working to elect Joe Biden and Kamala Harris this November. A Dean's List Scholar at Hofstra University, Lauren holds her Bachelor's of Arts degree in Broadcast Journalism and a Master's of Arts degree in Speech Communication. Uh, Lauren was the president of the Hofstra University Chapter of Radio Television News Directors Association and Foundation and is a member of the Broadcast Education Association and the New York Women's Agenda. My friends, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the longest serving New York State Young Democrats Chapter President, Lauren Suma. Thank you so much for that thoughtful introduction, Jovan, and thank you and the entire New York State Young Democrats organization for honoring me as the Young Leader of the Year. It has been my great honor and privilege to serve as the Nassau County Young Democrats president and a member of the New York State Young Democrats for these past 10 years. In that time, I have made many great friends and have been so happy to be involved. I wanna give a special thank you to Chairman Jay Jacobs for your support, wisdom, and guidance. I also want to thank my executive board, Dan Small, Carl Potak, Alicia Munion, Crystal Berger, Richard DeRozzi, and Eric Simonson for your collaboration and camaraderie over the years. I also want to give a big thank you to our neighbor in Suffolk County, Joe Sarno, the president of the Huntington Young Democrats for working so closely with our group and partnering with us on events. As president, it has always been a priority to me that our chapter provides opportunities for young people to be engaged in the political process and can participate in professional development experiences and for our members to attend events and fundraisers without worrying about the cost. Our organization has achieved many great accomplishments under my leadership. We have overseen and directed signature campaigns during the petitioning process to ensure that our candidates are eligible and included on the ballot. We have organized meet and greets, phone banks, and canvases for presidential, state, and local candidates, as well as hosted fundraising events. All of these measures have contributed greatly in engaging the young Democrats in Nassau County. We also make it a priority to give back to our communities by volunteering at the Ronald McDonald House of Long Island by preparing meals for families and their sick children, as well as with Habitat for Humanity of Nassau County to help build homes for families in need. All of these experiences have allowed our organization to bring people together to support good causes, develop relationships and support our communities. During the height of the COVID-19 pandemic earlier this year, we decided to step up and support our doctors and nurses at hospitals on Long Island. We raised thousands of dollars to purchase meals from local businesses to send to hospitals to show our appreciation for their work. I am so personally proud of this effort to support these healthcare heroes. They literally are heroes. With November 3rd right around the corner, I am so proud that our group has been fully focused on all efforts to help ensure that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are elected. Our members have worked closely with the young leaders of the New York State for Biden Harris team to mobilize, organize, and lead phone banks, networking events, and fundraising opportunities for the campaign. As one of the co-chairs for the New York Biden for Harris Young Professionals, I am privileged to be working shoulder to shoulder with my fellow co-chairs, Mike Corbett, Lizzie Lordy, Noah Rohde, Greg Rivera, and Mohammed Alam. 
I am so grateful for their incredible friendship and partnership in this movement. And I want to give a special shout out and thanks to Nye Whitaker, the New York State for Biden Harris Senior Advisor, and Zach Layton, the New York State Deputy Director. They both motivate us and push us to continue to be better leaders. In closing, I thank you again for recognizing my efforts with this honor tonight. I look forward to the hard work ahead in these final weeks. While I won't be a young Democrat for much longer, I remain dedicated to the mission of ensuring Democrats are elected up and down the ballot in Nassau County, New York State, and across the country. I will forever cherish the great work, memories, and relationships that being the president of the Nassau County Young Democrat has brought me and can't wait to see what comes next. Thank you all so much for being here and a special shout out to my family who is joining us tonight from the great state of Pennsylvania, a state that we are working hard in to ensure victory of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. So I'm so honored and privileged to be an honoree tonight with all these great colleagues tonight. Thank you.